Yeah, yeah. How the fuck y'all taking off for a weekend? It's no days off, I'm grinding all four seasons. A dope bowl and a chicken, mix it with the lorries. Hey guys, this is episode 4 of I Am Riddo the vlog. Um, this is the Riddo recap for this episode. Um, it's been quite a long time since our last shot, so we've decided, me and Jack have been talking about it. We decided we'd go um, an episode a week uh, for now, and then we'll just transition when Jack finally comes full time with us. He can get into more videos and try and do, you know, four a week and one every day. That'd be kind of sick, but we'll see how we go. Um, so what's happened since I left my job, which is the last episode you saw, um, I started applying for other part-time jobs, um, I went to a couple of interviews, um, and the thing I fucking hated about interviews is that I've got, I've got more confidence in the, than anything else in the world um, that I've got, so my interviews normally go really well, my, um, especially for stuff that I was doing, like bartending and stuff like that. Um, and a few phone calls I got back were that everything's perfect, no worries, like it's all good. Um, but we're going to choose the other guy because he's got more experience doing this or that or um, it's more annoying when they don't have anything bad to say and it's all good um, and I'm sure that happens to some of you and I'm sure that other things like it's, it's more painful when you got there's no reason why they shouldn't hire you other than someone else is better so uh, it's a little bit of mo motivation to try and do other things and get more experience all that sort of stuff um, but I did find a part-time job down um, with our good friends at Black Cops um, in Burley the brewery down there, which I'm actually going to head to later to, uh, in a few hours actually for work. Um, so we, I'm at the tap room there, pouring beers, talking to everybody. And they've been really welcoming. They know about all this distillery stuff and they're pumped for that. Um, so that's a big part of what's happened since then. Um, I also, we also dropped the first vlog, which was yesterday. Um, in between that time, we have got the builders in. This brick wall got put up this week. Um, our Barrel room over here is almost finished. Both um, edges are on the stairs are up, um, so like the framing of the whole place is pretty good. Um, we've got our bar top at the front finished. We've got the offices. Everything's framed up almost. Uh, our shop front will be done this week. So there's been a bunch of changes to the building, which we'll see little clips of as we go through, um, which has been a big thing. So we've got the job. A bunch has happened to the building. Um, we've been painting like hell, trying to get these like shutters and stuff. All painted up for this front part here. Um, we've got we've got our we officially got our federal licensing, which is amazing. Um, so we can produce liquor now. Um, we're waiting for our Queensland license so we can sell it on site. Um, what else? We secured 15 uh, red wine barrels um, that we'll pick up in a few months. We've been going over quotes for other wine barrels. We've officially ordered our still, which should arrive. Um, later than we expected, which is painful, but May, kind of June time, um, so that pushes our opening date for spirits anyway, but we're looking at May or June to get all set up for that. Um, we, yeah, we've got a lot done this week, <laughs> to be honest, it's been a busy week, um, but we're, we're getting there and trying to get stuff, I'm saying I'm a lot, it's going to be fucking annoying in that video, but <laughs> it's alright, I'm going to get better. Yeah, it's just been flat out and... This fourth episode is going to be a little bit quieter, a little bit smaller, I think. You know, there's not much um, we've captured, which is a bit of a bummer, but we're going to get used to trying to film more often and get our own content going. When Jack's not here, he's like trying to film on phone. Um, we should, I should try to get a bunch of clips. We, we spent um, a couple of days, me and my dad, just literally smashing out this big um, block wall that's full of concrete and just sweating, just dripping the sweat every day. Um, so that was rough, and it's been hot in here. Now it's raining, so we've got the opposite, which is annoying because rain often wrecks wood. Um, but yeah, it's all, all coming together. Um, we just, we've got this bar top here um, that we'll show you in a second, and we put some other stuff on that, and yeah, we'll just see how we go. And look forward to the end of the episode where you guys get to see a bit more of the building, and the next episode, which will be even more um, stuff done to the building. So. Yeah, it's all up and up and thanks for coming along the journey if you've stayed into um, watching these videos after the, I posted the first one then we're all good it's all happy days so see you out there hey guys so I'm about to cut up this piece of PVC piping because we've got it's raining 
it's fucking very wet in here. So we've got all these little leaks everywhere from this like old shitty gutter that was in here. So just for a temporary kind of fix, I'm gonna get a cap for that one and then just cut this old piece that we ripped out here um, and go across and down into the drain that's in the corner. Um, so So we just cut that up, um, I've locked all the doors down, I'm just going to take this to Bunnings so we get like a good reference for size. Um, we're going to cap one end with the edging on the other, um, and then we'll come back here, fit that all up, and then I'll be off to work on this. When I went to Europe I did um, Paris, Amsterdam, uh, Bruges, Berlin, Prague, Vienna. Two hours later. Rome, Florence, Nice, Swiss Alps, Barcelona and Madrid. And then came home. Recap for the last week. It's been a bit hectic this week. We've had uh, we've had the builders back in. They've done a fantastic job, and the uh, and the brickies as well, as you can see behind me here. The the nice recycled brick wall. Um, our big challenge this week for me has been the still and the uh, and being able to heat the still and how we're going to do that. We had some information sent to us by the still manufacturer in the U.S. Uh, last week, telling us that with some specifications for heating the still. Which means we have to have a, um, a, a steam boiler. So the steam boiler puts, puts steam, hot steam obviously, into the jacket of the still, which keeps the still um, heated the whole time during the, during the process. What we've found though is that this steam boiler takes a heap of power. So at the moment we've got a real challenge because one, the, the building, we don't have enough power in this building to run the steam boiler as per what, uh, the guys here in Aussie are telling us we need in the way of um, in volume, a 100 kilowatt steam boiler. So we've got a real challenge on our hands because we, one, we don't have enough power to run this boiler. Two, if we did have enough power to run this boiler, it's going to cost us an absolute fortune to run. Um, so we're, we're now waiting for the guys in the US from the steel manufacturer to come back to us with some more specification to see if uh, this, the steam boiler we've been told we need is actually the correct one and, and if we actually do need that much power. So at the moment we've got a real challenge because we can't we haven't got a solution to heat the still at the moment. So um, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be another big challenge moving forward uh, this week coming to try and get that sorted. And on top of that the builders will be back Monday to to carry on doing what they're doing. We've also got the plumber coming Monday and the uh, and the Sparkies to do the first run in. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on. A lot of people we've got to we've got to coordinate at the moment, make sure everyone's turned up at the right time. But the stills are biggie. The stills a big one, obviously. Without that, we can't produce product. Um, 
So we need to really work hard and, and find the best way, the most cost effective way to heat that still through the through the steam, through steam. So um, stay tuned to this one, that's a real challenge for us. I think everything else at the moment we can, uh, every other little challenge we have we can overcome no problem, but that's a, that's a biggie, but um, it's not meant to be easy, huh? so we'll keep going. See you next week. Hey guys, this is uh, the end of episode five. You just uh, talked to my dad and he kind of went over some of the issues we're having with our still, which we're still trying to work through. I'm, I'm all nice and dry now after being soaked. Um, trying to get all that piping and the roof all fixed up. Um, uh, you also might have noticed that at the start of the video I, should have, I said it was episode four. Uh, it's not, it's number five. I'm um, just a spastic. Um, I don't mean that in the bad way. Don't be, don't be hating, thinking I'm some crazy person, but yeah, I'm just stupid. But yeah, we're, we're making it through. You saw we tried to, there's a lot of water and then just been pouring down still, so it's just, it's rough. We're trying to get everything plugged up, trying to get, or keep everything dry. Uh, but yeah, we'll see, see you in the next episode. If you guys want to watch number four, um, click back on the channel or go onto the Grand Jack Facebook page and look at the, the past posts. You'll see every other episode and you can check those all out there. No worries. See you guys.